Making bad choices can lead someone down the path to a drunk driving conviction. State Representative Patty Hymanson thinks offering a drunk driver a new choice post conviction might be a way to help that person turn their life around. And this would be a way, a, a very immediate way, to stop drinking and to see what the effect of alcohol has been on your life. This York Democrat thinks convicted drunk drivers should be able to keep their driving privileges if they are willing to submit to alcohol screenings twice a day. And it would be an instead of proposal. So a person could elect to do this or they could elect to go the traditional route. Hymanson says the offenders would pay for the screening, but police officers and sheriff's deputies would still have to take the time to administer the tests. Bob Schwartz is the executive director of the Maine Chiefs of Police Association. Some of the small towns in Maine have one officer out, two officers out at tops, and with domestic calls, other type calls, there's just not enough, not enough uh, calls of police officers out there for the service that they're, they're asking them to perform. Schwartz also says law enforcement agencies can only go so far when it comes to helping someone change. The substance abuse issue is a personal issue. You have to admit you have the problem and you have to work on it yourself. Hymanson says at this point she's just looking to start a conversation about tackling the subject. So I see this as a mechanism to talk about driving under the influence um, <clears throat> and moving forward with discussions. Members of the Legislative Council will meet next Thursday to decide whether this proposal will move forward. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.